go. We are back on the world of wrestling. Ready for round number six. Wait a minute. Mark Rocco just then did the turnbuckle pad. Yamato goes right into the steel. Oh my god, the destruction. Rollerball Rocco here in the beginning of round number six. Trying to get the best he can of flying Fuji Yamada. This is just ridiculous. Rollerball Rocco trying to take any advantage in the book. Look at this. Now he's working over the back. The back that went into the steel with the overhead Canadian backbreaker. But look at this. Yamato works his way out. Oh, Rocco with the clothesline. Rollerball Rocco with the illegal tactic. Bringing down the turnbuckle pad and ramming Yamada into it. In the beginning here of the sixth round. Crossbody by Flying Fuji Yamada into the cover. One, no. Rocco gets out of it. Rocco gets shot off, but he boots him in the... Look at this beautiful butterfly suplex into the cover. One, two, three, and that will do it. Rollerball Rocco evens it up. One to one, Rollerball getting the advantage by bringing down that turnbuckle pad and then a few moments later with a beautiful butterfly suplex rollerball rocco you may not like it but he just won round number six and we are now one fall to one here's the replay yamada gets booted right in the face and then over the top Double underhook, beautiful belly, uh, butterfly suplex. Bring it over, and Rollerball Rocco evens it up. Here we are now. We're getting ready for round number seven. They tie it up. Rocco goes to the front chantry in the takedown. They're now evened up one-to-one. -one. The next fall will win it, ladies and gentlemen. Rocco looking to regain his heavy middleweight championship. He's in firm control of flying Fuji or Mata right here. This might be a choke, actually. He might have the forearm over the throat, but he brings him up. Look at this. He brings him up over the shoulders. Oh, and that was across the throat. The hot shot-like maneuver from Rollerball Rocco. Yamada dropped throat first. Oh. Rollerball will go to any length. To regain his heavy middleweight championship. But here comes Yamada. Yamada gets control back. Flying Fuji Yamada whips his man off. Drop kick and he connects. Rocco rolls to the outside. Wait a minute. Here comes Yamada over the top. Suicide dive. Flying Fuji Yamada over the top rope. Nails rollerball Rocco. Rocco's getting back in the ring. He wants nothing to flying Fuji Yamada. Oh, but he rams him into the top turnbuckle post. And he brings him over, rams him. No. Yamada blocks. Yamada up top. No. The missile dropkick cannot connect this time. It does not work the second time for Fuji Yamada. And a, oh, gut shot suplex over the top rope. Oh. Right into those, once again, the abdominals, the ribs, the core muscles of Fuji Yamada that Rocco's been working all night long. Yamada over the top, looking for an O'Connor roll, perhaps. No, Rocco reverses. No, Yamada reverses. He's looking for that German suplex again, but Yamada throws him off. Or, excuse me, Rocco throws Yamada off. Roller by Rocco, once again, avoided the German suplex. Here it comes, Tombstone pile driver. There it is. Rollerball Rocco with the signature pile driver, and that will do it. Rollerball Rocco has regained the heavy middleweight championship of the world. Flying Fuji Yamada went for that German suplex once again that won him the first fall after the O'Connor roll attempt didn't work. But Rollerball Rocco blocked it, saw it coming. Reversed with his signature tombstone pile driver and roller ball Mark Rocco has regained the heavy middleweight championship. That's going to do it for us here at the World of Wrestling. I'm Bernie Summers. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time in the world 
of wrestling. Thank you for watching the world of wrestling. We'll see you next time for even more wrestling action. The World of Wrestling is a maintaining kayfabe production filmed in front of a live studio audience.